In this video, I'm sharing how to make a seashell mirror from a plain square frame found at the flea market using molds, paper clay, and decrepit dust. A hidden land for you and me. I did it out of clay. I used to make these giant seashell mirrors when I first opened my shop. Almost every month I would sell at least one seashell mirror for a thousand dollars and it would help me pay the rent. This was back before there was any Facebook or any Instagram and I got in a magazine called Coastal Living and that was a huge deal because that was the only way that anyone could ever see anything that you would ever do. Coastal Living magazine wrote an eight page article about my store and because I was featured I got a call one day. It was the producer of this television show. My shop used to be coastal decor and I would make lots of items from seashells. I have some videos showing these projects which I will link below. Start by lightly dusting your molds with cornstarch. This will help the clay release easily and keep all of the beautiful detail. I'm using paper clay for this and removing it before it dries. This is important to do for best results. You can find the paper clay and the molds on our website. I wanted this project to be similar to the real seashell mirrors that I made for television. Hello, we are the producers of Extreme Makeover Home Edition. We were wondering if you would like to make a seashell mirror for our show. I don't know if you remember that show, but they would go in and they would build a house in a week. Then they would move the bus and the family would see their home and it would just be this big transformation. And it was the biggest show on TV at the time. Yes, of course, I would love to make a seashell mirror for your show. I'm brushing on wood glue to adhere my molds and I'm gluing them onto the mirror itself to create a scalloped edge. It ain't hard to see all that's going wrong. I know it's far too easy now. I like to lay out my pattern until I'm happy before applying the glue. Because it's extreme makeover. They wanted it to be 12 feet by 8 feet. I had never made one that big. They weren't going to pay me anything. I had my dad build a frame and we had some mirror cut. It barely fit in my dad's truck and he had to drive me to Los Angeles to the set of the show. Oh Debbie, bring all your seashells and we want to film you making the mirror. You never know, you could get on the show. We're not guaranteeing anything, but we will definitely put your name in the credits. I'm painting the base of the frame with white swan. Not worrying too much about getting paint on the mirror because I know I'm going to glue the molds over it. Applying the molds before they dry allows you to bend them around corners and surfaces for a more organic look. I scraped all my money together. I brought huge seashells, this big. I made this mirror and I glued shells on for three days. And I got to see all of this DIY going on. The producer comes up to me and she's like, we want to film a segment with you making the mirror. And Ty Pennington is going to come with this big megaphone. And he's going to tell you to make the mirror faster because the family's going to be here in three days. Okay, all right, I can do this. They have these big cameras on their shoulders and their cameras are like huge. I'm shaking inside. It's a long road to greatness, but I ain't afraid to face it, cause I know I'm gonna make it. I used two packs of clay for this, starting with the largest molds and working my way down. I also used the acanthus scroll and the classic elements to create the scallops and variety. Look for small details of molds to fill in the crevices. This was before I ever did any videos. Okay, you got this, you can do this. I'm pretending like everything's fine and normal. And then he pops out and he's got his megaphone. I just stand there with a total dork smile on my face. Cut, 
Let's do that again. Yeah, that's that's never gonna make it onto the show. Gonna lift it up. Got me down. I waited for all the clay to dry overnight and then I went over the entire thing with White Swan. Whatever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. I finished the mirror. It takes three people to move it and they hang it right in front, right in the entryway. And it's massive. And I'm like, this thing is getting on TV. I go home. I tell all my friends and all my family that I'm gonna be on TV and that I made this giant seashell mirror. The episode is ready to air. And I sit down with my family. And then finally, they get to the part where they move the bus. And then the front door opens. And there is my seashell mirror. And they show it. And they show it in slow motion. And the family's like, <gasps> Wait for the paint to completely dry and then apply clear wax and decrepit dust. This will help the dust stick into all the low spots and then you can wipe off the excess. are rolling down my face. My mom and my dad are there and I was so excited. After that, they cut to a segment. This is the designer that designed this beautiful ocean themed house and then they go to his shop in Hermosa Beach. This is his store and look at all of his seashell mirrors and his whole store is filled with seashell mirrors and seashell decor. I continued around my mirror with the dust and the wax and then I used the clear wax like an eraser to bring back some of the bright white color. All these bananas on my birthday cake Remind me that I'm young it seemed like my seashell mirror came from his store. No, no, this can't be true and it's fine. Any minute now they're gonna say that it was made by a girl in San Diego and Bailey's really upset for me right now. <laughs> the show ends and my dad turns to me and he's like got smoke coming out of his ears. They made it seem like your mirror came from that guy's store. No, dad, they didn't. Yes, they did. The way that they edited everything together, it made it look like you weren't even a part of it. Okay, well, my name is supposed to be in the credits. Name's about this big at the very end, if you watched it that far. Sorry, Debbie, no one watches it that far. Looked up the name of his store and I called. And I pretended to be a customer. Hey, I saw the seashell mirror on the Extreme Home Makeover show. I was wondering if you'd get a mirror like that in your shop. And, oh yes, we have all kinds of seashell mirrors and come in and look at them. <sighs> Letting you know you, you're not alone. Last thing I did was dry brush over the mirror with white paint and white wax to just brighten up the high spot. I wanna try to understand. This is just one way to do this. You could paint your mirror with mermaid tail and then use our patina green wax for a completely different look. That's Hollywood. I should have gotten credit for it, but sometimes in life that's just the way that it goes and you make a choice to do it or not. And I would do it again just for the experience of being on a television show. And the family really appreciated it. If you watched my video last week, that was the polar opposite of this experience about being on TV. So I'll put it up here and down here. But yeah, that is my experience. For more DIY tutorials and flea market adventures, subscribe. We post videos twice a week. It ain't hard to see all that's going wrong. I know it's far too easy now to sing sad songs. To sing sad songs. To find a DIY paint retailer near you or to sell these products in your store, click the link below. Thanks for watching. You know that you gotta get back up. Gotta get back up.